Hi guys. So in this video, I will be explaining you the importance of knowing like whether the code generated is AI generated code or human written code. Okay, because as of now, we are seeing like most of the places like cheating is going on. People are just copying pasting that code from outside. Okay, so we, we need a software. We need something to, uh, to rely upon that whether the code written by the candidate is written by that particular candidate only or not. So how can we identify that? So currently it's not present that much. I can see like people are just copy pasting from other places, either from chat GPT or they are copying it from some other websites. Okay. So in some of the places they can able to identify like which website they are copying from, but how much it is AI generated. Okay. That also we need to understand because now the candidates are becoming very smart. Okay. So they are knowing that if I'm copying it from some specific websites, so they can easily identify like it has been copied from which website. Okay. So now they are rewriting the code in such a way that it is becoming more AI generated. It looks like more AI generated, but human form. Okay. So chat GPT has evolved in such a way. Okay. So if you take the code of chat GPT and if you try to put it in a, uh, to check like whether that code is written by human or AI generated. So that will uh, provide you a look that it has been written by human, but actually that has been written by AI. Okay. So let's understand what's the important of those aspects, which I'm talking about. So let's get started. I hope you can see my screen now. So now detect AI generated code with ease. Okay. So it will be a game changing tool for all the developers out here. Okay. It's not for only particular person. It can be helpful for other businesses as well. Okay. So now let's understand the next thing. Like what's the use of this tool. Okay. So these AI tools have usonized the entire coding part, but they can produce the code that doesn't meet your standards. Okay. So they can uh, produce certain type of codes. Okay. So you can take out the code from AI written by AI to chat GPT or to Gemini, but they may not meet the coding standards because these coding standards are set individually by different, different uh, organizations. Okay. So you need to comply with, with that as well. And second thing is originality and maintainability are at risk. Okay. Because they will give you more generic code. AI can write a more generic code for you. Okay. But if you are not applying your brain and you are not modifying the existing code, what you are copying. Okay. So what will happen? It will uh, put that particular code's originality at risk. Okay. So at later point of time, the same code needs to be maintained. Okay. So at later point of time, it needs to be scaled as well at a higher level. Okay. So we need to modify that code. We need to keep on refurbishing the code again and again. So if it is not maintainable code, then it may produce problems in future. Okay. So the entire uh, project can be at risk at that particular scenario. Okay. And third is there can be security vulnerabilities. Now uh, we are seeing like some jars are vulnerable some part of the codes are becoming more and more vulnerable to threats and all okay so which may go unnoticed okay so this ai tools has generally revolutionized the coding coding part but these things also needs to be kept in mind before proceeding ahead so that's why detecting ai generated code whether it's generated by ai or not that is very much crucial okay so it's uh, need to be understood while giving the interview also for the candidates like they are not copying from any AI generated uh, codes or they are writing by themselves. Okay. So we need to identify that as well. Right. So for that, we need some tools out there. Okay. Now, what are the use cases of AI detect code detector? Okay. There are multiple use cases of AI code detector. So first and foremost thing is first is hiring developers. Okay. So we are hiring developers and for that, what we generally do, we take interviews for the candidates, right? And while taking the interview, so in most of the cases, like they are copying it. Okay. Because the questions can be a little tough and most of the candidates may not be able to answer that. So they know that I will be getting rejected. So why should I not copy from any other place, which is generated by AI? So what they are doing, they are not now very clever. So they are copying from other websites and they are modifying certain variables, certain fields, certain method name, and they know like how the AI is working. Okay. So they are modifying few, few things. And then they are telling you that I have written this, but that is actually not the case. They are just modifying few things, but AI internally does a lot of testing, a lot of checking. Okay. So we need to have a tool to identify the difference so that if that particular candidate is making smaller difference also, still we can identify like 80% of the code or 90% of the code is written by AI, not human being. Okay. Second use case is academic integrity in coding assignments. Okay. 
so now we are seeing in college or in schools uh, above ninth people are giving like exams on coding assessments right so it, during that time only also i am seeing currently so currently in colleges there are multiple colleges in bangalore so i am having connection with them so they are telling like uh, they are not getting that much time to implement the things which has been pro provided to them as an assignment so they are take, taking help of chat gpt and copy pasting that thing and doing some minor modifications in that so nowadays are you getting like where the world is going towards they are not thinking much okay so the thinking time is reduced and then they are just copy pasting and thinking that i can rely upon ai generated thing then what's the point of thinking so so hard and implementing the entire stuff when it can be possible to do in just one hour or just half an hour okay so one day's work they are transforming into half an hour so for that we need to we need to see that whether that code um, maintainability is at risk or not okay so academic integrity in coding assignment is important and third use case is enduring the quality and standard so in team projects so if a uh, few people you are seeing like they are writing very standard code and very few chances of getting any errors that means there is a high chance that they have written it from ai okay so there are few things that we can see and identify because human will make mistakes right humans are not god they are not robots that they will make perfect code okay they can make few mistakes so you can identify that way as well okay so what are the tool what is that particular tool that can help you in that okay so coming to the sponsor of this video which is ai detector pro okay so ai detector pro will help you identify whether the code written by you is human written or it is ai generated code okay so this is the this is very good tool out there in the market where you can just go through the entire tool and you can copy that particular code and you can check it out whether that particular code is ai generated or it has been written by human being okay so i will uh, i have just uh, curated a particular piece of code okay i will just copy it then i will just show you like how this tool works okay so let me show you that so let me show you one demo okay so i am going to the notepad so here if you can observe uh, this is ai generated code okay so i am just copying this ai generated code part okay so till here it is the ai generated code that means it has been copying it has been copied from some other places okay it has not been written by human being so what i am doing now i am copying this part of the code okay and after that i am pasting it here so i have pasted the same code which is written by ai not human being let's see what will happen i am clicked on analyze okay so this is the website by the way code.aidetector.pro you can check it out okay so here if you can observe it is showing 98 out of 100 probability probability that it has been ai written okay so now let's see what is there inside it is all you can see under report section see here you can see like dashboard reports and projects okay in dashboard you can see the entire dashboard where you can just upload okay there is a place to upload you can see what all uh, changes uh, is required okay and what all uh, modifications it can be required so what ai is telling us okay so what this tool is telling us about your code it will be seen under report section okay so if you go to report section you can see this content was mostly written by ai okay this 98 percent chance that the content you entered was written by ai algorithm so each and every line you can see written in red color this particular word may be written somewhere okay it has been just copied the same word so these whatever things you can see in red color okay this has been written by ai not human being and this yellow color orange is yellow means it is somewhat written by ai so there is a chance that it can be written by human being because these are return types right so return type is fine you can copy that you cannot make any changes on the return type of a particular variable or object okay that is fine but the field value method names these uh, words what has been written over here with height it is not it is looking very generic it doesn't look very specific to this project okay so this has been copied so like this it, it will identify and it will check whether your part of the code is written by human being or written by ai okay so this was the ai part now let's see like if i am putting real human written code how it will identify that okay so let me go to notepad so this is the human written code basically okay so i am copying this entire thing okay so let me copy this part and let me come here and paste it okay so here you can select language also 
like java c has javascript php python there are multiple languages it, it supports okay so here if you see it is uh, probability is 2 out of 100 that means there is very less probability that is it has been written by ai okay it is mostly written by human beings so if you click on it here you will see like it is written by human the code appears to have been written by human so it is showing green signal over here so why it is showing green signal so here if you see it has been very specific okay these words are very specific to this particular project it is not being kept generic get response data processor so here it clearly tells us like what does method do with the help of this method declaration name okay this method signature name from here only you will get to know like what is this method all about so you have to be very much descriptive in terms of your method signature uh, and naming convention and whatever things you are writing within that you need to be very much specific and descriptive about that okay so and this yellow part means it may be or it may not be uh, copied from ai okay but mostly it's fine like only two percent probability that it has been written by ai okay so this is looking good for us okay so like that it will identify this is a tool that will help you identify so from who and whom and all this particular tool will be useful this particular tool will be useful for consultants for developers as well as for small businesses as well okay so if you see this part there are multiple advantages first let me uh, conclude on that so it pinpoints that whether the code is written by or generated by ai or not okay second it works on i have already shown you c has java python js and php okay and it doesn't rework or it uh, doesn't fix your mistake it will just show you that whether this code is written by you or it has been written by ai so it is very much helpful in that case okay so do go uh, ahead in the comment comment box and uh, you can see in the description and you can try it out okay then what are the benefits of this ai code detection tool so these are some of the advantages okay so it can be used by business uh, uh, people as well or it can be used by independent software consultants like normal developers as well so how it will be helpful for normal developers so it will it will be helping you to find out the buggy code so before actually sending the code to the client it needs to be checked whether that code is ai generated or not whether that code is having some standard issue or not it is maintaining the standard of that particular project or not so it will check the high quality content of your code okay so it will help you identify the mistakes or it will help you identify whether that code is ai generated or not so it is helpful for developers okay to quickly resolve the buggy code before actually sending that code to client and with respect to small businesses so we can hire engineering managers to oversee the independent developer rather than hiring the entire set of developers okay to work on a particular task and it ensures accountability and quality assurance through the tool it check checks whether the quality of your code is fine or not it assures on that and it detects the ai generated sections also so it will check whether that particular section is ai generated or not in the entire piece of code okay and it saves time it just saves time it because it quickly identifies where your problems are and it will try to fix as well okay and it after the usage of this you can optimize the team productivity as well and it enhances the quality of the final product which you will generate based on the code which you are writing okay so make your code human generated not ai generated you can take help from ai to guide yourself to know like where you can move ahead with okay so that you can overcome all your hiccups all your challenges but don't write everything which is AI generated. Okay. Just think about the company as well. Okay. So I hope you got the clarity and understanding of it. And you can check out, check out uh, in the description box below. We'll be uh, uh, pasting you there. Okay. So you can go ahead through that link and you can register for yourself as well. Okay. So I hope you got the idea. You got some uh, clarity on the tools, which is very much beneficial on you, on, for you. Okay. So we'll see you in the next video with the next set of topics. Till then, it's Dibji Troy signing off. Bye-bye.